Hey everybody, welcome back to Mateo's Corner. Uh, what's up? How's everybody doing? You know, I I was having a kick to play some Marvel vs. Capcom again. And um, I realized I never did a video talking about the endings for Marvel vs. Capcom 1. And uh, now normally... If you wanted to do the endings for the game, you'd have to play through the game as every character and do it that way. But uh, the PS1 version actually has an ending collection where you can watch the endings anytime you want after you unlock them. So we're just, oh, Onslaught. So we're just gonna do that. And we're gonna go through every character in the roster. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 characters, 16, 17, and Onslaught will be 18. There's 18 character endings. Now, you're probably wondering why I skipped over Red, Orange, Venom, uh, Golden, War Machine, Purple, Morgan, and Orange, Hulk. The reason why is because these all share the same ending. They just say, oh, congratulations, you beat the game with a secret character. And all that is is this Hulk plays like Hulk from Marvel Super Heroes, so he has a little bit of super armor. Uh, Morgan plays a lot like a Lilith. Instead of just putting a Lilith in the game with her own ending, they just did that. Uh, this is supposed to be Iron Man, but again, they couldn't just put Iron Man in the game. They had to put... They just didn't. They couldn't even give him an ending similar to Iron Man. And then this is just, congratulations, you beat it with a character. And I, he's just faster. Maybe they were going to put Carnage in the game, and then they just said, you know what, we don't have the time or whatever to do so, so whatever. Um, so anyway, we're going to go through every character and uh, see what we think of all the endings. Because it's been a long time since I did this, and uh, it'd be kind of fun to do this again. So here we go. Reuse ending. Oh yeah, that's the thing. This version of Ryu, you could change between playing as Ken or Akuma. I don't know why. Uh, Master, why aren't you out of breath too? You still got a lot of learn, Sean. Ryu created special moves through this training. Really? Is that true? Of course. Why don't you ask him to train you? Yes, sir. Ryu, please be good to me. Now I can go shopping with Eliza. See ya. Oh, he just jumped out of there. I'm ready, Sean. Give me your best shot. Okay. So as you noticed, the endings were very quick. They didn't even let you skim through the thing yourself. Um, I actually like that ending. It, it, it fits with Ryu as a character. You got to see Ken make a cameo. Sean got to make a cameo, which ties it back to um, Street Fighter in general. Um, I kind of wish he would have been maybe sparring with like another Marvel character. Or something, you know, like maybe one of the the guest characters they have to spawn in for specials, like Juggernaut or Lou, or he could have been fighting with Tanpu, he could have been fighting with, um, or just they could have been watching or whatever. But uh, I still like the ending; fits fits the character. It's very good. Again, nice references. All right, here's uh, Captain America. I kind of remember this one being a little. A little sad, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Oh, no, never mind. So this explains why you were all brought here. Onslaught was the embodiment of the dark emotions of Professor X and Magneto. His conscience called out for heroes to stop the evil, and each of you were summoned here. With Onslaught's demise, you may return home now. Thank you, all of you. Good luck, my friends. Oh, I roll. Wow, I thought his was going to be sad. I guess I'm thinking of a different character. I really like this ending. I think going by whose endings make is are good, both of these have good ones so far. Cap's ending being, you know, he sends all the Capcom characters home, and you actually get to see Lilith in there. It, it would have been cool if they added some of the other guest Capcom characters in there and it wasn't just the playable ones but 
It was cool to see, like, Roll, even Roll was in there, which hinted that she was in the game. It's kind of cool. Um, I like how, like, some of them were in certain poses. Lilith was even there, which is funny, because, again, her sprite is there, so... I don't know why they didn't just make her a secret character in the game, but whatever. Really like that ending. Ah! And right after Captain America, we got Captain Commando. Here we go. A character I wish Capcom brought back, because he is technically Capcom. Captain Commando, Capcom. HQ to each member of the Avengers. The dreadful onslaught has disappeared. Repeat. We've defeated Onslaught. Now the Earth will be at peace. Who, who are you? I am Captain Commando. Okay, that was a little underwhelming of an ending. Um, I think they could have done a lot more. I like the idea that nobody knows like what happened to Onslaught and then Captain Commando just shows up, but I... It would have been cool if he was talking to, like, Captain America or one of the other Avengers. But it was, I mean, it, it was okay. It was alright. Not my favorite. Little underwhelming, especially after these two, with the references to other characters and just the feel of it. I think they could have done more. Um, alright, let's do Spider-Man. I also know some of these endings generate random characters so that they work. Let's see who Spider-Man gets. be funny if he gets himself. I've had that happen. Hold that pose, Jin. Oh, it's Jin. The whole world's gonna hear about this one. Jin and Spider-Man join forces to defeat Onslaught. What a great headline. I know JJ will make me look like the bad guy, but I need the photo money to make a living. I really like how it makes the character do a pose for the picture. Like, they're actually posing. I, I really like that little touch. Wonderful ending. Fits the character. Makes sense. It works. I love it. Alright. Chun-Li. So far, all the endings other than Captain Commando have been pretty good. So. Oh, Bison! I've got you now, Bison. You can't escape. I know you're the leader. Surrender or else. Impressive young one, but it is you who is trapped. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Shadowloo, Detective Chud Lee. No. Oh, it's Nash. I won't let you do this. You must be defeated. W where's Bison? And who was that guy? Wow, very quick ending. <laughs> Didn't even let it kind of linger. I love Chun Lee's ending because, number one, they introduce a plot point that isn't really addressed in the game where the so the stage they were at was a headquarters where like all these big time villains from Marvel and Capcom like have come to have, like, have a meeting and uh, one of them's actually the Grand Master which you guys would know from Thor Ragnarok um and uh Bison is supposed to be there so it was cool to have Bison there as like a ringleader to get all the villains to do things. I thought that was kind of cool. They also brought in a character that ironically is now canonically in Street Fighter, thanks to Street Fighter V, which is Nash. Um, him coming back as like a Shadowloo agent and he's all like, what's the word? He's all buffed out and stuff, so to speak. So that was cool. I now, yeah, like, looking back at Street Fighter V, it was really cool to have Nash show up. Because it's like, oh, that's neat, you know? That, that, that's really, really cool that, that he's there. And he looks a lot different because, again, you know, they didn't really flesh him out. But, all right. I wonder what Hulk's is. Maybe this is the one I'm thinking of where it's a little sad. Well, a couple of them, like, are. And then the music that's behind it's really good. Fools! Onslaught will not be destroyed so easily. It's not over yet. Prepare to be finished. Guys, it's so fast. Goodbye, my friends. It's in your hands now. Oh, no. Cap. Oh, no. The captain sacrificed himself. His memory will live on. Oh, no. Just like the captain, he went out fighting. We're more alike than we're willing to admit. Wow. It's interesting how this was 
Hulk's ending. Of all the characters to have Cap die, I, I would have thought for sure it would have been Cap's ending. It was Hulk's. Which makes not a lot of sense, but at the same time, yeah, that sucks. Uh, wow. I do like the ending, though, because it actually harkens to when, um, when Onslaught was in the comics, uh, there was one comic in particular where the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and I think a couple other heroes had to sacrifice themselves by being absorbed by Onslaught, and you thought that they all died, and then it turns out they were in, like, a sub-atomic, like, realm or whatever, where Franklin Richards had to get him out or some weird thing. Anyway, that hearkened to that. However, in that comic, Hulk actually did sacrifice, not willingly, but he sacrificed himself. So it's interesting that they made it just Cap here. But uh, yeah, I remember that song from that ending. That was... That, that that song stuck with me for a long time after that. Because, again, like, seeing Cap sacrifice himself, and I'm just like, oh. I think this ending would have been better on Wolverine. Because Wolverine, you know, the whole thing is Onslaught's an X-Men villain. And I think it would have made more sense if it was Wolverine's ending. Especially with that last line that he said. Like... They could have made Hulk something completely different, but I do like the the ending that they gave Hulk. I, I do like it. So here to Zangief. Good old Zangief. Here we go. Aha! See my iron body. No one can defeat me. Hey, come over here, robot. Fight me. Woo! I'm the Red Cyclone. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, he just, he bodied a robot. <laughs> I love it. It's stupid and it's short, but I love it. That's amazing. That's, and, and you know, that's what I would expect from a, a Zongief ending. I expect him to body something like a robot. Oh, speaking of Wolverine, here we go. Here we go. Onslaught was spawned from my darkest emotions. Magneto's anger merged with my powers. I almost destroyed the world that we fight for. How can I still speak of a bright new future? It's history. Oh, it's history, Chuck. We all make mistakes. We're still here and life continues on. Still change things for the better. Yes, we'll find a way. Thank you, my friend. You know, that was a nice ending. That was actually a really nice ending for Wolverine. Him and, and Xavier just having a chat. It's not something you would expect. I mean, with a Wolverine, again, like, looking back at, at Hulk's ending, you would expect that ending to be on Wolverine because of the significance of, like, the comic and stuff. But I really unironically like that ending. I really do. I think that ending actually works for the character as well, because most... Everyone knows Wolverine is, ah, berserker, barrage, gonna kill everything, but some of his best moments as a character are when he just sits down and talks to people like that. I really like that ending. Alright, here's Jin from Cyberbots. I think it's Cyberbots. A game that needs to come back, Capcom. You, that and a bunch of other games. Here we go. You're a fool, Jin. You could never defeat... Oh, is this another one? <laughs> I'm more powerful than anything you could imagine. Fine. Let's see if you can handle this. I oh, know. Him too? Jin. Did he die? No. Jin will return. I know he will. Aww. That's two characters. That's... Two characters. Two characters that sacrificed themselves. Jin and Captain America. The most... Wow. That's... And, and you know, it's interesting that, that they... You know, so, okay. Looking back at this ending, 
it's ironic that Ryu said that, that Jin would return, because I don't think Jin has come back in his own game or even like a cameo. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But I don't think they ever brought back Cyberbots. So, yeah, it's very interesting that that kind of happened. All right, so now we've got Monsieur Gambit. Monsieur Gambit. I actually don't remember most of these endings. I only remember a couple of them. You're still playing with sticks and cards, I see. You have both the beauty and the thorns of a rose. She is captive. What's this? Having fun without me? Oh, no, Rogue. Just when I thought I was about to have some fun. I like how Lord Raptor's just chilling in the background with people banging their head on the stage. I love that so much. I actually like this ending, too, because, again, it, it had him interacting with someone from the Capcom universe, and then Rogue came in and took him out. That was, that was great. That was awesome. That was actually a really good ending. I, I appreciate that. And something that I expect from Gambit, too. All right. Morgan. I don't think there's anyone good enough. Morgan, wait. I've come to challenge you. It'll be my pleasure. Then let's do it. Shoryuken! Oh, my gosh. This... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that reference to Puzzle Fighter. That's awesome. Because I think Puzzle Fighter came out around the same time as Pocket Fighter. And yeah, back in back when the, around the time this game came out, or maybe it was a little bit after or before. They made um, Puzzle Fighter, which was a Tetris-based um, fighting... It was a Tetris-based battle game that Mortal Kombat later did in Deception. And then um, you also had uh, a bunch of other people do it. And, um, God, I was such that... You know, it's funny. A lot of these endings have been really good, except for Captain Commando's. Captain Commandos wasn't bad. It was just disappointing considering, like, you could have had the entire team there. He could... Literally, instead of his picture just showing up on a TV screen, they could have had the Avengers, like, chilling. Like, Thor, Iron Man, Cap, Hulk, you know, a couple people, like, a key Avenger, even people that were, like, on the special thing. And then Captain Commando and his team could have, like, teleported in and been, like, Yo, we got this, fam. Don't you worry about it. The world's at peace again. And they got lazy with Captain Commandos. Utterly lazy. And it's like, it's not bad, but it's disappointing. I mean, compared to all these other ones that we've been looking at. All right, so we got a couple people left. Let's do War Machine. Mr. Rhodes. It was supposed to be Iron Man, but then they put War Machine in, so it felt like a different character. Mission complete. That was a tough battle. Times of peace are always ideal, but we must be vigilant and prepare for war to achieve them. The struggle for peace is never ending. Why is he flying in space? I feel like they didn't have to put all that stuff on his body for you to know it's War Machine. I just think it's kind of funny that they did that. I think War Machines is okay. It's all right. It's like Captain Commandos. It's not terrible, but it's it's all right. They could have had him not f flying around in space. They could, again, they, they could have done a lot more. I don't, I don't know how you would have been able to make it better, but they could have made it a little. All right, Mega Man. Mega, Mega, Mega Man. Time for your ending. Do, do, do. Huh? 
you got the magnetic shockwave. That's clever. That's clever. I like that. I mean, they could have done something where they they could have done something else with Mega Man, but just the fact that they were referencing the original games, that was really clever. I appreciate that. And I think that was the energy thing for Mega Man 8, if I remember correctly. Venom. Will we get two Venoms? Oh. Onslaught's beaten, but evil still remains. We will protect the innocent. Your heart is pure, and I know you can be trusted. Let's go, Captain Commando. We'll crush their skulls and eat their brains. You think you're up to the challenge? <laughs> I love that. Oh, Venom. <laughs> oh, Venom. I love that. That's great. That's awesome. Again, like... Uh, I don't get why, like, some of... Like, only two of these have been lackluster. The rest of these have been so good. It's just... It's so, like, jarring when you get ones that, like, aren't very good. There he goes. Target terminated. Mission complete. This is cool. This actually, look at this, like, this is actual, like, new footage that they put in for the ending. So they could have done that for other characters. They just didn't. He's just gonna chill on a whale, really? Okay, so... That was okay. I, I, I think that shot of him on the whale is really cool. But I also think that, like... They could have definitely... They could have done a little bit more with that, I think. But it was still good. And the fact that they put new animation in there that was not even from the game, it's like... Why didn't they do that for a lot of other characters, you know? Like, they, they totally could have done that. Same with the... Like this. Instead of giving us Red Hulk, they could have put in a totally different character. That could have been Lilith. That could have been actual Iron Man. Because, like, you want to see what it looks like when you beat it with some of these characters, these secret characters? This is what you get. Oh, never mind. Should we live in these exchange... Oh, uh, the collision causes it might be reversed. Let's try it. Hit my head with yours really hard. Here we go. Let me in on your head crushing training. Ouch. That's it. I'm myself again. We can go home to our dark realm. Come, Lilith. Yes, my sister. Let's go home. Oh, ouch. <clears throat> no, it can't stand this. Come back to me, sister. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, wait a minute. So they actually... I never knew that was an actual ending. I never knew that. Ah, oh, darn it. I All these years, I thought that was like an actual... Wow, I look like an idiot now. So, okay, so that ending was supposed to be where Lilith and Morgan swapped bodies. Okay, that, that's kind of a cool ending. I like that. That's actually really... That's actually really funny. <laughs> I really, really like that. Um... Oh, I guess now I gotta check most of them. Okay, I know for you, you're a congratulations, you picked up the secret character. Let's see what happens if you're a uh, war machine. I think this is the one where it's like, congratulations, you beat it with a secret character. Yeah, there it is. Win! Congratulations, you defeated the game with a secret character. Yeah, so that's all you get for Red Hulk, Red Venom, or Orange Venom, and Orange Hulk, Orange Venom, and uh, Golden War Machine. All right, on a roll. I don't know why they put the Do You Love Me thing in there. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, the Mega Man 8 costume. I did it. I beat the stage before Mega Man. Oh, wow, you, you did? That's impressive, Roll. Wily's evil ambition must be stopped. Roll, I'm going to enhance your power. Let's go. I'm ready to save the world. Let's do it. Good luck, Roll. Aw. Poor Mega Man.
Poor Mega Man. Roll beat him. Um, I think it's cute. It's a cute ending. It's because the whole thing was that Roll was never the one to like actually fight people. She was always the helper. So the fact that she did it before Mega Man kind of reminds me of, like if Tails got somewhere before Sonic. That'd be kind of funny. Okay. So this is actually an interesting thing here. This character, Shadow Lady, she's actually a sprite. She's actually a, a, a secret version of Chun-Li. However, this is Chun-Li if she was taken in by Shadowloo and became one of their puppets. And she has like drills, lasers, homing rods. She's basically like a cyborg. And I really like this character. And I'm surprised that other than costume changes, they've never brought this character back in some way. I guess I guess it makes sense canon-wise, but... Oh no. What foolishness drove you to oppose me? You're not worth to be a shadow of soldier. No, we're too late. Yes, he's alive, but barely. We have no choice. Only Cybernation can save him. Am I alive? Oh, okay. That was a quick ending. So, with Shadow Lady, they save Jin from Bison, and they make him like they are. Interesting. Odd, but interesting. And finally... For some reason, Onslaught doesn't have his own ending. It's literally just this. That's it. That, that's all there is. So, <laughs> that's everybody. <laughs> well, um, other than, you know, the fact that Onslaught should have had his own ending, um, other than... I actually liked that one. Other than, like, Striders could have been a little better. Uh, Mega Man's was a nice nod, but they, they could have done something more unique, but I do. I'm going to give that one a pass. War Machine and Captain Commando. Only, like, two or three. Striders is, is kind of in the middle for me. But other than those two, this game had some really strong, good endings for an old 90s arcade game. So, or 2000s? 90s? I don't remember. Definitely influenced by the 90s, though, because, like, when you look at this roster, do a quick little roster discussion here. When you look at who's in this roster, there is more Capcom characters than Marvel, because of Onslaught. And, uh, you you know, you got Street Fighter, you have Captain America, because he's, you know, he's Marvel. Uh, Captain Commando, they were trying to really push for him back in the 90s. Uh, Spider-Man was big. Hulk had his own TV show. Uh, Zangief and Chun-Li were the two other than Ryu that were the most popular Street Fighter characters to put in crossovers. 90s aesthetic Wolverine, even with the same voice actor. Cyberbots, I think, had just come out recently, or maybe they were making it? I don't remember. Um, there was a PS1 port of it, though, and same with Captain Commando. Uh, Gambit is always a cool Marvel character, especially because of the TV show. Uh, gotta have at least one Darkstalkers rep. I wish they had more than one. They could have probably taken out a character to put another freaking Darkstalkers rep in. Uh, Iron Man had his own TV show, but they only, but they already did Iron Man, and they wanted the roster to see more, well, like there were new characters, so they made War Machine. Uh, Venom was, you know, Venom, he, in the 90s especially, he was super popular in the 90s. Um, and then uh, for a while, he wasn't as popular until, like, you know, the newer TV shows and the movies started coming out. Um, I think that was also partly because Spider-Man 3, the Sam Raimi movie, came out and people had a bad taste in their mouth because of Venom. Uh, Strider 2 was on PS1. Um, yeah, so it, it and Onslaught was a big X-Men villain, and I think the arc had just finished, or one of the arcs had finished. Something with Onslaught had happened, and I'm sure they were like, oh, Onslaught's a really cool character in general. Let's just put him in the game. So, I personally wish there were a couple different characters, but whatever. Uh, ending, back to the endings, though. 
Uh, I really appreciate the endings. I really liked how they took their time to actually make them, you know, good. Some of them, most of them. Um, yeah, it was fun looking back at these because I, I forgot how good some of these were, honestly. So, um, yeah, that's it for today, you guys. You all have a good one. Um, I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.